What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. In today's video, I'm about to show you how to create Hugging Face API key. I will also show you a couple of things uh, about, you know, editing the key and how to actually go and uh, put it within a model or import it within a model. So um, we are here on Hugging Face. You want to go and you want to log in in Hugging Face and you want to go simply to access tokens right here. So as you can see, once you're here, the user access token is actually the API key. So you want to click create new token. Now, once you're here, you will have token types. Now, for those of you who are kind of new to this, uh, the token types right here are fine grained. So you here, if you choose that, you choose specific permissions for the token. If you choose read, this grants read only access to models, data sets and spaces. And then if you choose write, this grants full access to create, edit or delete resources. So again, keep in mind which one you choose. I will choose fine grain for now. Uh, token name will be test for now because I'm doing this for the tutorial. Now, if I choose fine grained, right, as you see right here, you choose specific permissions. So those per specific permissions are going to be right here. So here, obviously, this will um, be up to you what you want to choose. Read access to contents of all repositories under your personal namespace, write access to contents, write manage interface endpoints. So whatever you want to do, right? Now, if it's easier for you, you can kind of go here, for example, for repositories, you know, um, here you can kind of see the explanation of it in chat GPT. However, if you're already tech savvy, if you know what you're doing here, you can also have access to webhooks data and you know, whatever you want. So if you want, you can just click and you can scope to specific endpoints as well. Right here. Um, you can also go here and a repository permissions here. You can search for repositories if you have those and you know, stuff like that here, you can't actually go and edit these um unless you actually go and change these token types so um, that's the first thing right once you have this you create a token here and as you can see this is going to be your uh, api key so if i copy this uh, you know i can go and i can actually import it and uh, use it with this particular uh, api key call out right so we have from transformers import pipeline and then as you can see here this is in Python. So if you're using hugging face uh, Python library, you can all authenticate by setting the environment variable hugging face API key with your API key. So as you can see here, text generation API key, and then your API key from hugging face goes here. Now in HTTP requests, if you're making direct HTTP request, include the API key in the headers, which is right here, headers equals, and then here goes your API key. So that's how you can do the, uh, how you can uh, import, right? Or call out your API keys. Now, next thing right here, um, obviously you can hit done. And as you can see here, you have your API key. Now, let's say you, you don't wanna use your API key anymore. What you can do is you can go here and edit uh, permissions if you wanna edit permissions. But if you don't wanna use this API key, you just hit invalidate and refresh. Hit okay. And this will actually change the API key. So as you can see, it's completely changed. If you want to change permissions at any point in time, you can hit edit permissions here and then you can go and edit those permissions. Keep in mind, you can't actually change the um, the uh, token type right here. So you can't actually change that, which is, uh, yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, that's what you can do. Um, and again, if you don't want to, don't want this key at all, you just hit delete, you hit okay and that's it, right? You deleted your token. So this is how you can uh, access the token. This is how you, uh, how you can uh, edit the token. And this is how you can uh, also import the token. I hope this video helps. If it did, leave a like below, comment below. And for more AI videos and videos around AI specifically, check out our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.